I struggle to say the right thing in these videos, to use right words, and get a message across clearly. I want my words to resonate. I'm so passionate about the teachings I come across that I want to be able to communicate them as best I can. But is it even possible to communicate anything about the ultimate truth? bit of a scramble up into this cave. I'm still exploring this area, and this cool little one is about 20 minutes from where I live. Ultimate reality, the essential reality of not just ourselves, but everything in the universe is supposed to be an indescribable and even inconceivable reality. As Donald Hoffman suggests, our human cognition has evolved to help us perceive and think about the salient aspects of reality that ensure our survival. I see the edge of that cliff right over there as a representation of something that could kill me if I step off of it. It has survival benefit for me to see it in the way that I do. I can see this accurately for my own benefit, and others would agree on seeing the same thing. But it doesn't mean that the reality of what I see is just what meets the eye. As I talked about in my last video, what we perceive may represent our shared public reality of the world around us, but it may not resemble it. I probably don't see the world around me exactly as it is in and of itself. I don't see it from its own point of view, or at least from a deeper non-human perspective. Since I believe consciousness is fundamental, the universe at large is conscious and has its own subjectivity, its own qualitative experience. Why would we think we as humans who evolved our cognitive capability just yesterday compared to the entire history of the vast universe can actually conceive of this universal reality? Because of our limitations, the universe we perceive around us may just be a partial representation of what's really going on out there. Just like looking at my face, you may be able to guess at the emotions that I'm feeling or the thoughts that I'm thinking. What you perceive of me is a partial representation of my private inner life. From what we can tell other people, animals and plants are representative of private inner life too. And we can extrapolate that logic to infer that the universe at large also has private inner life. All of what we perceive as physical is just a partial representation of deeper mental processes. So what's really going on out there? Whatever it is, spiritual traditions have taught that despite our limitations and our distorted perceptions, we can still get closer to the truth, the absolute truth, the essential reality of who we are and what the universe is. 
Because that essential reality is supposed to be the same in me, you, all animals, and living organisms, and even the inanimate universe at large. It's pure being itself, before it's qualified with any descriptions or concepts, the pure potential for manifestation. It's pure subjectivity, or awareness itself, before it's directed at anything we may be aware of. The words I am may come closest to describing this pure being, but of course they're still wrong. They're still inadequate, because those words still conjure an idea. Any words and any thinking are bound to fail us, so we can't really know this ultimate truth, this pure being in and of itself. But we are it, and as Rupert Spira says, we can be it knowingly. It's a new year, 2024. I still don't have a job and my money is running out, but for some reason, I don't feel anxious or distressed. I don't feel the same exaggerated sense of impending doom that I felt right after my layoff. I don't know, maybe I should. Maybe that type of fear would compel me to finally secure a job. We'll see what happens. But for now, I'm compelled to make these videos more consistently. In 2024, I'm resolved to work on my videos every day and release a few a week, maybe one day shooting and one day editing, on and off, or at least until I get a job. But for me, the main problem with that is my perfectionism. I won't be able to put as much time and energy into each video with the same quality that I'd like. I won't be able to shoot on location in as many different interesting places as I'd like. But I have a solution. I want to get used to more spontaneous vlogging, so to just jump right in, I've set this up. My home studio location, where I can just talk to you. And without going anywhere, without dynamic and interesting shots, it doesn't get more boring and low quality than this. At least for me, that's how I feel. So this is where I'll start. It's actually part of my spiritual practice, to let go of my perfectionism, my constant striving and my attempt to control everything for a perfect scenario in order to justify my happiness. I won't belabor too much what I'm going to say here either. I mean, I'm constantly looking up words and choosing my words very carefully, almost obsessively concerned. But I just watched this video by Rupert Spira where he advised that any words that are inspired by the truth can take us to the truth. It doesn't matter what they are. It doesn't matter if they're the so-called correct non-dual words. It doesn't even matter if they're on topic. It could be a wordless communication, a gesture, a smile, an act of kindness. As long as it comes from that place of knowing, as long as it comes from that place of peace and love in ourselves. As long as it's inspired by our true nature. As Rupert Spira says in the video, as long as the words come from the right place, they will lead to the right place. But I have to tell you, for me, trusting in that is hard. I want to be eloquent in what I say here. And maybe that's just my ego getting in the way and part of my spiritual practice. To just let go and not care so much about how I sound, how I look, how I come across. And right now, the simple words that come from my heart are, everything's okay. And maybe that's enough. Like and comment if this resonated with you and subscribe below to follow me on my journey. See you next time.